Bo. I am a crafter, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, uh, retired. I'm a writer. I do a lot of things, y'all. A lot of things. Um, but today, I want to show you guys about blending brushes. We're going to talk about blending brushes, okay? Now, it's a little messy right here because I've been trying to go live and I couldn't. And then all of a sudden, what do you know? I was able to. And I totally forgot how it's going to look, right? But okay, here we go. Um, I have these makeup blending brushes. I bought these from Amazon. And the brand on these is D-U-O-R-I-M-E, whatever that means. And I'm... I'm certain they were not expensive because I, I don't I don't really buy expensive crafting stuff. Um, but anyway, they're nice and soft and they're definitely for makeup, but of course we're using them for our crafts, right? So I needed more. And then I bought these. They were $13, I do know that. And there's, let's see, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's a dozen of these and they're all the same size, but what I liked about it was the different color handles, okay? Um, to compare these two, I'll show you. Well, of course, these are all the same size. Not a big deal, not a big deal. They, this set came with, there was more than these three. Um, it came with some teeny tiny ones and I didn't keep them because I didn't think I would ever use them. And hello, whoever's watching. I wish I could see, oh, there is a live chat. So you can, um, you can, I can see your chat. How about that? That'd be cool. This is my first live in a long, long time, and I wasn't sure how it's going to work. Um, let me say real quick, I need subscribers. If I get um, probably another 150 subscribers, I'm going to have some other options with going live. Okay, so the difference in these brushes. Oh, hi, Linda. I'm glad you're here. Malden, South Carolina. I'm in Noonan, Georgia, my friend. Um... This brush here, it, it feels better in my hand, okay, because it's it's got like a, a soft edge here, where this one you can definitely feel where the plastic mold is. Um, it's got like a little line there. Not a big deal. We're not going to be using it all day, every day, right? Right. Um, the other thing is, these are really flexible more so than these. It it doesn't look like it, but let's put them together like this and see. I think you might be able to see that this is thicker than that, right? Again, not a big problem for me, not a big deal breaker or anything like that. So I want to show you some stuff. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but I'm using Pink Fresh Studio stamps and... Um, Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I just bought these. This is one set. That's another set. I bought these um, from Joanne actually on Friday. And I was like, I really need, I need a set of these inks. So they had maybe five or six sets to choose from. And I decided to get some that would go well together. Okay. And I think they go pretty well together. So these were like $12 and something for four, but they were on sale, uh, probably 30, 40% off. And that's pretty much the only way I buy them, y'all. That's about the only way. Okay, so Pink Fresh Studio, th th these stamps look a little dirty because they're stained. I've been playing with them. Y'all, this is one stamp right here. That's one stamp. This is one stamp, all right? This is called Beautiful Blooms. And on the back, you'll see some suggestions, what they suggest for color, okay? Um, this set also available are the, um, the dies, which are right here. And because this is one set of stamps, the dies are also, there's two dies, y'all, two. And they cut out everything in that row, all right? Oops, wouldn't you know I'd put it on the wrong one first. There we go, there and there. I'm gonna show you real quick a couple of cards I've made with them. And I did take a class at a company called Impressive Ideas. This company is in Atlanta. And 
this is this is their um card so please do a screenshot because we need to help these folks stay in business right um impressive ideas they are in norcross georgia it's about an hour from me but if i'm gonna buy something you know like this that's outside of stampin up i'm gonna do do business with them hoping to help them a little bit but look how beautiful these cards are made this one in the class and there's a embossed layer here it's um it's just polka dots just polka dots this is vellum with um with uh copic marker uh the yellow is copic marker and we actually colored all of this with copics this is another one we did in the class and i love this it's so pretty i love the little flowers here another one from class and again with the vellum we got a sheet of vellum here and a sheet of vellum here. And then we come home and make it ourselves. And I don't know why it's all curly right here, y'all, but it is. Could be the way it dried. I don't know when I put my um when I put my vellum on. And I made this one here. Um just colored this piece of vellum with a Copic marker. That's an alcohol marker and let that be my background. And then I brought out a little bit of the pink with this pink ribbon here. And it says, just a note. Okay, so that, and then this is, um, these are some of the images that I, I put them on like that, that um, kids art foam sheets. It's just, it's just foam sheets. I don't know what to call it, but they're eight and a half by 11. And um, they're, you know, they're not big, thick stuff, not super thick, but I put them on there so I wouldn't have to use so many dimensionals, okay? And then when we go to put it on our card, it's it's popped up a little bit, all right? Um, okay, so, and that that's how I got this effect where, you know, where you can see the layers like that. That's the foam core or whatever you want to call it, the foam paper. Okay, okay, so let me get these together, and I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna cut these out right now, and if you're not familiar with dies, um, that's a whole different video, but there's a, there's a die cutting machine we use, um, mine is called a Big Shot, and it's, it's a hand crank thing that you push it through with, um, with shims that come with the machine anyway and it it cuts into the shape so you would get three separate flowers if you were to use the die cut thing okay you know we could just let me just move this sheet out and start clean because y'all deserve that you deserve some pretty you deserve some pretty pretties Okay, like I said, I'm in Noonan, Georgia, and it's it's summertime over here, y'all. It's pretty hot. Um, these are just some... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. These are just some that I have stamped, and I did use my Stamparatus. That is like um, the Stampin' Up! brand of a Misty, but it does a lot more. Um, but I put the, I put the um, stamp on the call it the radis. I'll show you what it is. Right here. Um, you put your, we got two doors because we can use two separate doors at once. You would put your stamp here. Okay, move it up. You put your stamp here, put your uh, cardstock here, and you ink it up and stamp down, and then you ink it up again and stamp again. And if you need to a third time, fourth, whatever, you can do that. That's why these images look so amazing. This one I did not use. I just used a block, and you can see we're missing some in here. Hello, missing it. But this one's pretty perfect, so we're going to use this. And we are just going two we're going to put the um where did i put them here they are we're going to use these stencils again pink fresh and these are beautiful blooms they're stencils each of these are numbered i had washed them so now now they're all mixed up okay we got one two three and four okay 
So the top one, each one is for the same set of flowers. You'll see in a minute how that works. The bottom cuts are also for the same set of flowers, the other set. We're gonna move these guys over here. We're gonna move my John 316 right there. We're gonna put number one is going to be this one, all right? Hopefully you can see really well. Let me turn a light on right here. That might help. So we got you going right here. And I would love for y'all to like and subscribe. You know, do all the things, please and pretty please, and share, you know. Um, this right here, when I got my inks, I will be keeping my inks face down because the ink pad itself, the ink will stay at the top of the pad if it's turned upside down. Hope that makes sense. So what I did, I just scrubbed this on a piece of cardstock, punched it out with my little half inch circle, boop, like that, and I went boop, like that, and stuck it on there. So all of these guys that are upside down have pretty colors, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use a little washi tape, just a little, because I mean, you know, some people really tape this stuff down, but I don't. I just put down what I need right there. And we'll put a little piece right here because I have an extra piece laying over here. Why not use it? Um, we're going to go with the light blue and the dark blue, I think. This should really, you know, we. I think I might try and color these a little bit with some gray. I don't know. Let's see what we think. I think that'd be uh, that might be a little a little um bit much for today. I think I'll I'll just go ahead and and blend these as well. Okay, so we're gonna start. I've got a little blue on my on my little blending brush. I'm gonna scrub some of it off and then come in and just start laying it down. Just lay it down on here. Now there's going to be four steps to shading and coloring this um, this little set of flowers. I don't know if you can tell it, but I can see we're getting some blue in here. Okay. Now I'm starting with my light, my lightest blue, because I would like to use the same little brush, because the blues are very close to the same. See how light that is? And then this is a darker blue. We'll use that on the, um, wait a minute. Yeah, we're gonna use this on the next color. Let me come back with this blue here. And we will go, let's see. I think we'll just go right here and do these in lighter blue. I didn't dust any off on this because I want them to have a little bit more ink. Right there, there we go. Okay, so those colors should be done. All right, so this one, I, I haven't done these yet, so I think I'm going to go with these. I don't know if we'll even like it, y'all. We're going to try, though. Okay, and I'm looking at all my new little brushes here, and I'm trying to remember that now I've got a little color for each for um, each of my inks. I've got a little, a little brush for each of my inks, and I, I only see the one that has this reddish color, but then we have an orange. So I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do orange on this one. Ooh, that's pretty bright, y'all. Pretty bright, pretty bright. So we'll go easy. We're not gonna get crazy. No time to get crazy over here. Here we go, here we go. Um, y'all, I'm also live on um, Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over at Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed on Facebook. Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. We'll always do paper crafting and uh, stamping up stuff on those days, and I got some brand new things to share. Um, but then on Thursdays at 1 p.m., same place, I'm live doing Kathy Bo's crafting show. Anything goes. Heaven only knows what we'll make. All right, y'all see how we're how we're doing here. Isn't that pretty? Now this is just the lighter bit and that came out heavier cuz that's how I scrubbed it. Ah. I'm happy with this so far. Okay, let's go to number 2. 
Let's see what we got on number two. Now, you know this was down here on the bottom. And the way that um, Pink Fresh does their stencils, I don't know if everybody does or not, but Pink Fresh, I go to this bottom one. And the reason I know that this is the second one right here, it says, I don't think you can see it, but it says stencil two. Well, I marked it with a two because I'm not going to keep looking for it, you know. I'm not going to keep looking for it. Okay, this is a highlight, so I'm just going to just going to get these little guys. Oh, I see. Okay. This flower goes a little cray-cray. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Because there's, there's petals, this petal and that petal. Okay. So, now it wants us to do that. Okay. So, I've lined those up. I got these pretty much lined up over there. Uh, let's go a little higher. There we go. All right. So, now we're going to use fired brick. I haven't told y'all what colors. All right, hold on. Our blues were tumbled glass, and we'll use salty ocean in a little bit. Um, we used ripe persimmon. Oh, Tim in the names of his cute little inks. And this is fired brick. And if you're watching me, I see I got some more folks out here. Give me a, hi, a hello, please, and let me know you're here. Now, we're just going to use some of this right here and go in. I think I'm wanting it darker, y'all. I do. I want it darker. So, I, I don't know. I haven't played with these colors yet, y'all. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's, it's putting some color out. Sure is. Okay. We're just going to let that sit for a minute. I think we're done. We're done with coloring that flower completely. Now, let's move this guy because, you know, they'll get a little bossy. They'll try to get in the way, and next thing you know, I'm using them and I shouldn't. Okay, I used this blue on that tumbled glass because it was a light color. I can use it again. I mean, don't, don't, you know, don't do this too if you don't want to. This is Salty Ocean. I think it's fine to use the, um, the next darker color because you're not really, it's not like you're going from dark to light, right? Okay, so we're just doing this. Next, we're going to do the leaves. Okay, let's see what we think. And these need to be washed. Not going to be too hard to do that. Y'all, I love it. It kind of makes me look, you know, a little bit smart, I think. <laughs> Because when you look at it, you're like, oh my goodness, she colored that just perfectly. Yeah, okay. Well, because I have a a little guide here, right? Okay, now it's time for our leaves. Here we go. Um, let's see. We're gonna put that right there. Get off of there now. I didn't tape that other one down. I don't know what I did with my tape. Oh, I left it on there, didn't I? Sure did. Please hold. Your call is important to us. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boop. And if you're a, a subscriber and you're like, why didn't I know you're going live? I'm sorry. I didn't know I was going live either. Um, Ninja Man and me were working on my camera angle, and um, and I said, let me let me just try this. And then next thing I know, I'm crafting live. You know how it happens. You know, you know. All right, here we go. Here we go. We came in from church, and I took a nap. All right, I'm going to call this the, the light green, and that's the darker green, okay? Here's our green brush, and we're just going to put, put us some color down. And this is, to me, it's like a pea green. It's called crushed olive. So, yeah, yeah, it's definitely an olive color. And everybody's going to get this color. All the little leaves. Okay, we're just scrubbing them on here because it's going to make us look amazing like we know what we're doing, right? Isn't that the best? And if you're just tuning in or watching on replay, I go live at Kathy, Bo Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed, same name, on Facebook. Tuesday nights, um, Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. every Tuesday night. And then I'm live again on Thursday, unless I'm not, 
um, at 1 p.m. with Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. And that particular thing is, I mean, we do, we do Dollar Tree crafting, we do whatever. One day I just sorted through all my Tim Holtz stuff. We have fun. Okay, so I know that doesn't look like much right now, but wait, but wait, but wait, there's more. Here's number four. Let's slide him in here. Slide him in. Boop. We're going to put this little fella right there. And I'm just kind of looking all around. I like it right there. Seems to be good. Okay, and this is called Mowed Lawn, which happens to be exactly what Ninja Man was doing. He was mowing the lawn when I started this. I'm going to scrub off a good bit of it and then come on in with our mowed lawn. We have a, um, a doggy door and our dogs can come and go. They have a little fence and we have small dogs. Uh, a Boston Terrier and then a Boston Terrier sneaky neighbor dog mix. She's a rare breed, y'all. Rare breed. And they go... Uh, out the back and they have their little doggy door and their grass had gotten a little bit too high for for our lichens so he went out and mowed it and um it's so funny the boston he's he's real particular and he barely he just goes out very very gently because it's the big plastic flap and you know and then the boston sneaky neighbor dog mix who is also uh, a lot of jack russell she flies through there like her pants are on fire. It's so funny. Now, what I'm doing, I'm just putting a little bit of extra color down at the very beginning of these of these leaves because I think I think I want to. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to see. Wits is going to see. Okay. I left that one off. Okay. Let's see what we got, y'all. Let's see what we've got. Oh my goodness gracious, look how pretty that is. And I was not really sure at all with these red ones here, but y'all, I really love it. I really love it. Now, let's look at the colors again that we've used. Uh, if I can get them apart, they stack so neatly. Okay, so we used the fired brick and the ripe persimmon for those flowers. And the blue ones, we used tumbled glass and, here he is, salty ocean. Okay, I don't know if you want to do a screenshot. Here you go. And then for the leaves, only because these are the only colors I had, we used crushed olive and mowed lawn. You can get it a little closer if you get a, a green that's in between here, I think. But I like these. I think they look fine. And then when we're ready, I will glue this down to a um, to the little kids, uh, whatever I told y'all earlier, um, <laughs> foam, that little sheet of foam. And I'll glue it down and then I'll cut it out with my dies on my Big Shot. And then I will have pieces that look like this. And these are really kind of neat too. They're, they feel like a very nice, well-made embellishment. This one's still got a little something, something right here. This is my bum, 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 scary dental tool. So he pokes things out for me. There we go. Yeah, okay. And oh, some other tool that I found y'all, this was over where you make, um, like people are doing those um, tumblers. Oh shoot, what's it called? Anyway, where you you have to, I don't even know what it's called, I can't remember. But anyway, these are silicone tips and already I have used this over and over and over. And again, this was at Michael's and these came from Joanne, but this was Michael's. And um, it was over there where the, um, we are memory keepers, I think it's called Turn It or something, where they put the, the, uh, 
cup on there and spin it. It's called spin it. The machine is. And um, these are made by Recollections, which is Michael's brand, their store brand. And they're just neat to have for hot glues and stuff like that. So I hope this was informative and I hope it's helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to um, go over to Facebook, send me a private message or post it on there or post it here. Like I said, I haven't been live in a long time on, on YouTube, so I'm not quite sure how it will work if you post your questions here. But you can try. And um, actually, yes, I'll get an email. I'll get an email. So go for it. If you have any questions or comments or if there's uh, something, some content that you would like to see me work with, um, we'll give it a shot, okay? And if you're interested, my Stampin' Up! Um, site is kathybow.stampinup.net. And this is July 2022. And that's my host code just for this month. And um, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Linda, for hanging out. Take care. God bless. Toodles.